Well, good everyone, Brick Creator here, and today we're just going to be doing a special review. Um, I got this off of eBay, and this here is the, um, I don't, I can't find a number for this here. Uh, dear, see, I don't even know the number for it. Yeah, there it is. Uh, this one's the five, five, wait, no, it's five, zero, zero, five, two, five, seven. Uh, number right there. This is pretty much the accessory pack for um Legend of Jago from Hunted, I believe. So you see Master Wu on top of there, and pretty much it comes with uh her Rumi, which is her um where she wearing a mask of hatred. This is um season five Jang, which was his future reflection when we saw during possession. This here is the Sensor Girl on member, which pretty. Is, Pretty weird to see another Sunday Girl member like that. And then you see pretty much right here season four Nia, which was from um Kabuki Nia from season four, um Terminal Elements when she was in disguise. There we go. Um, okay, um so let's go ahead and take a look at Hiromi first. So here is Hiromi. Um pretty much yeah, that's her face. And also her mask is pretty different because this is how the Mask of Hatred will look like on Ultraviolet. And look how the mask look like on Harumi. Look like it's more smiley. So, um, yeah, she come with two um, of the Sons of Garnon swords. Um, pretty much, I like how much the torso detailing is. See how it looks like it goes right from the side as well. Oh gosh, you gotta love that. I'll take off her face later on. You can see the side as well. And pretty much the back detailing right now. Um, let me just take this all off. That's pretty much her face. It looks pretty accurate from the show. Although, if it was a Lego, like, head. Instead of, like, you know, like a yellow. If it was, like, replaced with a yellow head, it will look more, like, you know, like, accurate. And it was more accurate, too, since she's wearing a mask of hatred. So you can see her torso detailing. You see the, uh, you know, and the back detailing. Looks pretty good. All right. Um, and so, yeah, that's pretty much it for Harumi. Uh, they also came with a, uh, the armor for um, from Ultraviolet when she used it from season eight and the same thing for Harumi when she uses it as well so yeah that's pretty much it for Harumi now moving on to um futuristic J so here is futuristic J um pretty much he used the same hair piece from all the other J's but this one he has the eye patch he also come with a staff um you must see his torso detailing Looks pretty cool and very accurate. And this is face detailing. Uh, sadly, this J doesn't have a back detailing. But however, you can see here, the um, same thing as Harumi, he also has detailing on the side. You see on the side, pretty much, this, he got pretty good detailing. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for J. I pretty much love this minifigure. This minifigure was probably the reason why I even got the whole entire thing. And so, yes, it for Jay. Um, go ahead, and we're just going to go ahead and move on to um, this Sons of Garmin member. So here's one of the Sons of Garmin member. Um, you can see his back is pretty much all in silver. Well, it's not really silver. It's kind of painted in silver. So it makes it even cooler. Um, here he is. Pretty much his face is pretty rare, I think. Uh, you can see the sleeveless. I don't know. They they kind of brought someone else in this, but oh well. They shouldn't just, like, swap with somebody else, like, what we don't have. Um, no, there's nothing there, but pretty much you can see here, you can see, uh, his tattoo, which is pretty rad. <laughs> some of the garment, you can see some of the garment. I remember the symbol right there. You can see some chains right there. You see a chain right there. See the back detailing. Honestly, the detailing on these minifigures are pretty good. I mean, you got light detailing as well. Yeah, so, you know, uh, yeah, his face and 
That's the back detailing. Pretty much he has detailing on the back. He doesn't really have an attorney face, obviously, because he's wearing a, um, uh, you know, that, I forgot what it's called, a mohawk. And last but not least, we have Mia, which is, um, from season four, from, um, from the, yeah, from Tournament Elements, sorry. Seeing her piece, um, her face, she came, she comes with a fan, um, pretty much her, um, her entire torso detailing, and here's her back detailing, you can see, ooh, this is a pretty good piece right here, pretty much her arm came from, you know, season five, you know, you know, her, you know, part of her Samurai X thing, I guess she used, like, pretty much to talk, it's like a walkie-talkie or something, or something like that, that she used to pretty much talk to the ninja and stuff. It's pretty good to see this print on the minifigure. You see the back detailing, which I pretty like to see. And then there's his face detailing, which also represents the Lego Ninjago movie, but however, it doesn't really matter because this minifigure is OP. And um so yeah, that's pretty much it for all the minifigures. Now um that's pretty much. Uh, let me go ahead and tell you guys what I think of them. So, on to pretty much the ratings of this accessory pack. I'll, I'll give this accessory pack a 9.9 .9 or 9.8. This is pretty good. Although, I do feel like they kind of uh, feel like they, this wave isn't really better than the 2017 pack. Although, 2018 pack was still good because it came with many figures that we have never gotten for a while. Well, we should have had for a while. And hopefully, um, Lego continue on trying to do these little accessory packs. And honestly saying, these accessory packs are very rare and very cool. Um, so yeah, it's fun. You guys will get, you know, Harumi. Pretty much, I just completed all my Harumis, pretty much. I have, like, all the Harumis, like, minifigures so far. Uh, this is a pretty good collection because hopefully we get more of these, um, futuristic, um, ninjas. Um... We get this random um, Sons of Garmin member, which I don't see, I don't see the significance of, but it's still pretty good. And then we get this Kabuki Mia, which is pretty a good addition too, because we also get her um, with the, um, you know, her bracelet. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. Please come like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.